The Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters proudly presents Angler and Hunter Television. Brought to you by Canadian Tire, Boris Optics, Mercury Marine, and Lund Boats, Yamaha ATVs, Browning Ammunition, Browning Firearms, Suffolk Fishing Line, Rapala, Camillus Knives and Cuda Tools, Yukon Gear, Killer Instinct Crossbows, and Outfitter Financial. Spending days on the water fishing or hidden away in a hunting blind are things that so many of us daydream about. But affording that dream boat, tract of hunting land, or lakefront cottage are just not a reality. With living expenses, taxes, and saving for retirement, it's hard to prioritize such things. An easy way to get out and spend some time fishing and hunting is to hire a guide or take a charter utilizing outfitters that are experienced at putting anglers and hunters on fish and game. It's a great way to affordably do those things that many of us have so little time or finances to invest in. If only there was an outfitter that could guide us to financial freedom and make all those fishing and hunting dreams a reality. Okay, well, the sun's rising. Rob's almost got uh, the rods done. And we're out on Lake Ontario with guided line sport fishing. Uh, we fished with Rob in the past and smashed some lake trout. I had my, my daughter out here. And this week uh, I've got uh, Scott Morrow. He's with Outfitter Financial. And uh, he's going to catch some salmon with us and hopefully tell me how I can retire early. <laughs> How's that work? You know what? We're, I think it works for me as well, Mike. <laughs> Rob's already retired. As you can see, <laughs> he's doing what he wants to do, oh, right? Man. That's it. He's got matching Lund Barons out here, and uh, he's been smashing the fish all summer. So with any luck, we'll be able to hide out of the drizzle and rain and reel in some big ones. Let's do it. What does the OFAH do? Since 1928, the OFAH has been the voice of anglers and hunters in Ontario. Its members raise funds and work in communities to support the traditions of fishing, hunting, and trapping. Let's take a look at how the OFAH is making a difference. Hi, I'm August Miller. I'm here with Kate Powell from the OFAH and she's the Alice Peterborough Program Coordinator. What is Alice Peterborough? So Alice Peterborough is a program that helps farmers turn farmland into some type of ecosystem or habitat. Think about like a, a hay field. So the hay field might be really good in certain spots, but then where it goes really low, it might collect water. So then you're not getting a really good cut of hay. And in some months, you actually can't get your equipment in and off the field. Mm -hmm. So instead, they would take that marginal area of hay field and they would dig it out and they turn it into a wetland. Can the land be used for hunting? Yeah, a lot of farmers are actually hunters themselves. Um, if not, they, they often welcome people onto their farm to hunt. I've seen a lot of duck blinds and old hunting cabins on a lot of farms in the area, actually. So what are some benefits of Alice? So there are a lot of benefits of Alice to farmers, to our community, to the environment. Um, for farmers, for example, they can actually improve their farmland by creating some of these projects. So they might create a windbreak along the edge of their field that helps keep soil on their field. They might also create grassland habitat that provides pollinator habitat for pollinators. So how does the community benefit from Atlas? So the community benefits in a lot of ways. Um, for example, farmers are able to take some of these projects and expand on them and create Airbnbs um, or different venues and events. A lot of farms have music events that happen. Um, some beekeepers lead tours and teach people about the importance of pollinators, that sort of thing. How can farmers get involved? Well, farmers can visit OFAH.org and visit the Alice link. It's never been more important for youth to get involved and support Ontario's fish and wildlife. Carrying on the tradition of fishing, hunting, and trapping through conservation. This portion of Angler and Hunter Television is brought to you by Minn Kota and Humminbird. Rob Henry of Guided Line Sport Fishing has become a reliable source and good friend that consistently gets us out on the water, be it lake trout, walleye, or even chasing after salmon on Lake Ontario. 
So your salmon season starts when? Uh, beginning of June. June, and I'll, uh, I'll run that till mid-September. And then uh, we roll into walleye November 1st until ice up. After December 1st, we'll, we'll mix in some uh, lake trout. And then after ice moves out, we're on lake trout pretty heavy until about the beginning of June. And then we roll right back into salmon again. Rob's Lund Baron is the ideal Great Lakes fishing boat. Deep, roomy, and fully set up with the latest electronics from Humminbird and Minkota. Fish on! So all you have to do is enjoy being on the water and share some laughs over the purr of the murk. <laughs> How long have we been out here? Uh -oh. 10 minutes? 15 minutes off? Yeah, not very long. Yeah, well he just finished dropping that and adjusting the cannons and... And the cardinal rule is, don't touch the drag. What lure is that? <laughs> I'm not sure what you put on this one. They tell you that. I thought it was just a thing for guys that don't know how to fish. Can I adjust that drag for you? It sounds like it's feeling right. <laughs> Uh-oh. So you're tangled in that, it crossed over? Yes. Oh my god, oh, look Mike, at this. That one. I'm gonna make, what? See this, see that? Get on it, Mike. This guy's on fire. <laughs> you gotta be young and athletic to set the hook like that on a know. salmon. Let Come on! Yep. Yep. Yeah, this thing's got a big lamprey on it. We've seen lots of them this year. Yeah, buddy. Double lamprey. Double lamprey. Oh boy. That's a tri what triple. That? Triple. Uh, three lampreys? There's three lampreys on a, a single one. fish? No way! <laughs> wow! Three lampreys. Well, you're fighting that 35 pounder, we're gonna deal with this, okay? Oh. I've never seen that in my life. Pass me that cooter knife. Cooter fires. I don't want him to get into the lead core because he's gone to the to the starboard side. You, you okay there, Rob? I'll walk back a little bit. Okay? David, Mike, you want to help him get that uh, that line cut? Yeah, so Beatsy, you want to just step in? I'm yeah. going to go up here and help him. Yeah, and then what do you want me to do? I, I'm going to cut line and you see if you can unhook that sand, okay? I just want to help him untangle this disaster yeah. in case this is a big one. What do you need me to do? Uh, just, Hold yeah. the rod down. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Two hands, right? Can we throw on this back? Can we throw on that salmon back? Yeah. yeah. Tor torpedo, torpedo it. Torpedo it. Yeah. Sorry. Nicely done. We do have a second hand on board. Stephen Bates from Ontario to North Magazine. Thanks, buddy. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it. I forgot, a, I forgot a towel. We have the technology. Holy, this thing is wrapped. It sure is. What are you on now? 200? Uh, 230. You, yeah. know that you can reel? All the crazy uh, stuff. Here. Oh, I got it. Yep, yep. clear. Good, we did it. See, everybody sees us on TV fishing and everything happens smoothly and... It really doesn't. ...well orchestrated. <laughs> this is what it's all about, mayhem. We got three lampreys, we let a salmon go. Scott's got a sore back and reeling in a 34 pounder. It's my forearm. <laughs> it's burning. <laughs> Look at that, eh? We did it, that's teamwork. And I just sit here and coached everybody. So you see how important a coach is? Hopefully someone can coach my finances to a state where I can retire. <laughs> Oh, we can have that conversation later, Mike. <laughs> Look you at this. You want to do the honors? No, show me what you do with them. The... Oh, we had a dagger. Uh... We need the dagger right there. I really brought that so you could cut bait, but hey. How are you making out over here with this big fish? We're at 70 feet. 70 feet. Okay. Well, we're just going to get rid of some lampreys. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so the lampreys are gone. That was... Me. Whatever you do, don't panic. Yeah. Hey, let off on it. You did it. You oh. handled that net like a lacrosse stick. Hey, boys. That's a heavy chunk. Look at this chest on it. Woo! Female. Yeah. yeah. Got yourself a wee head. I pick him up on my left hand. I oh, can't come feel on. it. Look at this. That's got to be close to 20 pounds. This portion of Angler and Hunter Television is brought to you by Yamaha ATVs. Oh, well, I couldn't be in a happier place. I'm out fishing. Like maybe financially I could be in a happier place, but hopefully you can uh, 
enlighten me a little we, bit on we that. We can help you with that, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, if Scott, we don't go back a long way, but sort of our history goes back a long way. He's uh, he's an avid angler, he hunts, uh, used to fish tournaments yeah, back in that, the, the old ago. GM and uh, OV Pro Bass yeah, days, yeah, uh, right. which is kind of what spawned my fishing career. Yeah. And um, now you're, now you're helping anglers and hunters uh, reach their financial dreams. Is that a, way, a good way to put it? Or yeah, yeah, it's pretty close to our, our corporate tagline. We have a we have a brand promise called guiding anglers and hunters to wealth and beyond. Wealth and beyond. Well, yeah. I can tell you something right now. I'm wealth is a beyond achievability for me. Uh, being oh. a single parent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Doing this it's for a tough. living? It's tough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my, my million dollar contract never came through, so yeah. I'm just uh, filming fishing and hunting well, adventures. You know, well, the good thing, Mike, is that wealth is wealth should not be judged by a dollar value. Oh, that's a good to hear. Okay. So it's, it's a lot of it's lifestyle. Really? Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot of parallels between fishing, hunting, and finance. I'll give you an example. We're on Lake Ontario today, fishing for salmon, and and the fish are not just everywhere. They're in a certain place for a certain reason at a certain time of the year. And when it comes to your finances, you know, you're not going to take a dart and throw it at a wall of stocks or investments and just pray for. I do that all the time. I, I know so many people. It's like do. a slot machine. It's, it's, Come on. Life is not a slot machine. How's the arm? No problem. What I'm talking about. In order to be successful, you have to have some kind of a program put oh, that's in place. Like a, a lot of the clients I work with, I I want to take the fear out of finance for them so they can spend more time doing this. Sure. Right? Because that, to me, this is retirement. Doing what you want to do, when you want to do it, with who you want to do it with. Nicely said. It is coming fast. Look at him burn. <laughs> gonna pass the boat. Slow down. <laughs> wow. You get him? A man that knows what he's doing with the rod. Holy smoke! <laughs> it's off already? Yep. I can't believe that just happened. Wow, look at that one. That's a big one. <laughs> and it came off at the net. <laughs> How did you guys pull that off? No idea. I just I decided to work him around the cable. Nice work, mister. No problem, buddy. Nice work. Oh, that that was incredible. I didn't I didn't That's get to see the close up at the yeah, net. But I mean, there, I saw the rod nothing. bounce and, yeah. the, and the, the board go flying. And, and it, when, when Rob held the net up, I was like, did he, he was, miss it? He was coming to the net so fast. That and thing. I saw the boat. Yeah. Nothing to do with it, eh? Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Feel, feel hard that is. <laughs> hey, Mike. <laughs> it's like a rock. What do we got? Almost 25 pounds. Almost 25. Yeah, 24 million. That's a slammer. Yeah. How's that? <laughs> Nicely done, you two. You gonna do the old revive? There. You want some of that? I five the camera lens. You want some of that? <laughs> the Fishing Edge is brought to you by Minn Kota and Humminbird. To get the edge over the salmon, we trolled the lake in the big Lund Baron, powered by Mercury Four Strokes. Humminbird's Solix graphs connected to Minn Kota's Riptide had us over the fish, and Cannon Downriggers put our baits in front of the fish. And of course, Kuda Tools and a Lucky Strike Net made for easy landing of these big salmon. Fish! Guided Lines is a clean, organized <laughs> charter that uses premium gear. Oh, mama. Add to that, Rob is one of the best when it comes to getting his clients on fish. Yeah, that's, this fish is hot. Which means all you have to do is enjoy the views and be ready. Because when the rods pop, it, it can be mayhem. Okay, you want to kiss this fish? <laughs> Oh, 
Ooh, it's gone. It's gone. Is it over there? He went under their boat like that. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a shadow. Yeah. Like a Be bat. prepared, man, because when you hook a big one, you know what it's like. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Pull the arms right off you. Yeah. And then uh, you, you partake in all of the salmon derbies that are going on? Yeah, so uh, I buy charter tickets for the uh, Great Ontario Salmon Derby and the Silver Salmon Challenge. One you can win up to 100000 in, and the other you can win a brand new uh, truck. Wow. And yeah. have you uh, had any success in those derbies? Yes, actually last year one of my clients won the uh, Toyota 4Runner in the Great Ontario Salmon Derby. Holy smokes. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Rob runs a Lund Baron 2275, which is the ideal big water boat for Great Lakes fishing. Hey! With a reliable Mercury four stroke and deep gunnels, it's safe and has comfortable seating with plenty of room to move around. How come every time you give him the rod, you say it's a better there you go. fish? There you, go. <laughs> you want to take it? No! Can, take you, can you imagine? Thanks for reeling that in. Let me reel it the rest of the way. Hey, sometimes pounds. on these bigger fish, Mike, you do have to tag team. Really? Yes. I've done that with sharks, but not oh. salmon. This is a freshwater shark. Yeah. I fought a shark once for about 58 minutes, and it got off 15 feet from the boat. I was devastated. Physically, mentally. Not like this, though. Come on. Look at you pulling on that thing. What are yeah. you dealing with? Oh, man. All right, pressure's on. He's got the GPS coordinates locked in the covert. Wouldn't that be sweet? This We're... is where it's won and lost, there he is. <coughs> I don't think this is a 30 pounds of the way it's fighting. I haven't even seen it yet. Holy, look at what's going on. Throw that down. Yeah, look it's out. a team effort here, guys. Listen, is everybody yeah. ready for this? I'm gonna have to come down the middle here, okay? <laughs> we need yeah. a double now, I need a workout. Look at, do we have to take the top down? A lot of stuff's happening here. Mike, he's shaking. He's nervous. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's in the net. It's official. It's off the hook. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Hey, dude, that's a Coburn. We're going to Coburn! <laughs> yeah, that is a Coburn. Yeah! That's a Duker. Wowie. Whoa! Uh. Oh. That's All right. Beauty. Can we put that back out and let me reel it in? <laughs> that is a duker. What a beautiful thing. Boy, watch yeah. out for hooks in his mouth. That's look what I that. like about those single hooks. Look, look at the penetration on them. Yeah. Right yeah. through that jaw. We, and that I broke. always ran side. Always. That broke as soon as it come off. Just... He's going to get the Rapala scale out. Watch this. That's a beauty, buddy. Any predictions? I'm going to say 28. Uh, 26. 27. Come on. 26. It's not very fat, it's lean. It's, 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 it's a lean. male, it's isn't it? The, it's got the height. Yeah. yeah. Not very fat. <laughs> That's very a big fat. salmon. That's a big fish. That's a duker. Here comes the official. 2648. Oh. It's 26. 26, yeah. Not quite 26. Oh. Nope. Uh, I see 27. 25, 26. Harder than the weight. 27. 26 and change. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Fish. Holy. Is that... It's not big enough for Coburg, right? No. Oh! I was so excited. I thought we were going to Coburg. Sky. <laughs> that's okay. You didn't disappoint. He's big enough. Anything. That's almost. That's like close to a 30 pound salmon. I know, eh? Right? Wow. That's just short. Monster, too. What an exciting day on the water. What a beast. Whether you're looking to catch the fish of a lifetime or to be able to afford the trip of a lifetime, let that monster go. You can up your odds of accomplishing that with the help of a guide. Oh, nice. Well done. done. How about a salmon handshake? Uh, no. <laughs> so we started the day with the top up. In shallow, in the rain, yep. and we ended the day out deep, sun's out, tops down, you're smashing giant fish. Well, thanks to this guy right here. Yeah, a couple, of, couple of good guys. Absolutely, it's why you hire yeah. a guy. <laughs> Closed captioning of Angler and Hunter Television, 
is brought to you in part by Ontario Out of Doors Magazine. Angler and Hunter Television has been brought to you by Canadian Tire, Mercury Marine, and Lund Boats, Yamaha ATVs, Browning Firearms and Ammunition, Suffolk's Fishing Line, Rapala, Camillus Knives and Cuda Tools, Yukon Gear, Killer Instinct Crossbows, and Outfitter Financial. For more information on the products used in this episode of Angler and Hunter Television, visit AHTV.com. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Remember, conserve and protect our great outdoors.